A year and a half ago at the Los Angeles Auto Show, this vehicle was revealed. In February of this year, my colleague Stephanie Wallcraft was in Korea to learn all about the cabin design. Two months later, April, New York Auto Show, I was there to learn everything about this vehicle, technical specs, everything. Now I'm back in Korea to drive this vehicle. It is the 2024 Kia EV9. The 2024 Kia EV9 is a mid-size three-row electric SUV and will be the flagship EV for the South Korean automaker when it arrives in Canada later this year. The rear-wheel drive model sports 201 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque, while the dual-motor all-wheel drive model has 379 horsepower and 442 pound-feet of torque. Despite being a very heavy vehicle, the EV9 has surprisingly agile driving characteristics. This is in large part due to the extensive work on the SUV suspension system. The combination of a multi-five-link rear axle, McPherson strut front suspension, frequency responding dampening and specially designed NVH reducing tires provides a chassis that does an excellent job of accommodating the big and heavy battery pack. That battery pack, by the way, at 99.8 kilowatt hours is the biggest ever installed in a Kia production vehicle. Despite having a rather square and boxy body style, the EV9 is surprisingly slippery, an aerodynamic coefficient of just 0.28 and wind noise at 120 kilometers an hour has minimal effect on this midsize SUV. Built on Kia's electric global modular platform, or EGMP, the EV9's long wheelbase, low belt line, and completely flat electric vehicle architecture creates a very spacious cabin. There are two seating configurations available to Canadian EV9 buyers, a six passenger layout featuring three rows of two seats and a seven passenger layout with a three seat bench in the middle row. Unlike many mid-size three-row SUVs, the third row seats can accommodate adults, meaning it truly can claim six and seven passenger seating. Occupants sitting in the first and second row seats can simultaneously recline their seats to relax and rest when the EV9 is charging. The cabin of this vehicle really does capture an essence of the so-called lounge or salon vibe that automotive designers have been pushing of late, particularly in autonomous concept vehicles. In the EV9, Kia is the first automaker to really demonstrate the possibilities of a flat floor EV architecture in a large SUV. Others will surely follow, but it will be a challenge to match the openness and airiness of this cabin. The center console is fully disconnected from the dashboard and has a storage space underneath for use by front row occupants. Below Kia's now signature pair of 12.3 inch screens for the digital instrument cluster and infotainment system, Backlit capacitive touch points on a simulated wood panel take the place of physical buttons. When I first stood beside the Kia EV9 at the New York Auto Show floor earlier this year, my thought at the time was if this thing drives and performs as well as it looks and is designed, Kia has another all-electric winner on its hands. After spending a couple of days behind the wheel of the 2024 Kia EV9 in its homeland, those expectations were met and in some cases exceeded. This is a very solid and family-friendly all-electric vehicle with first-rate charging capability, state-of-the-art onboard technology, and surprisingly nimble handling characteristics. So there you have it, the 2024 EV9. I wanna leave you with a sports analogy. It's talked about with professional players all the time now, and that is ability and availability. They could be the most talented player in the world, but if they're not available, if they're hurt, they're no good to the team. It's kind of what I think with this vehicle, Availability is gonna be the big question. It is able, I just drove it, it is a fantastic vehicle. But when it goes on sale at the end of the year in Canada, will you be able to get one? What is its availability gonna be? We'll find out. For Driving.ca, I'm Andrew McCready.